something. I shall. Yeah. Fargus' ship sails along smoothly. At last, the sp they spot a fog enshrouded isle on the horizon. Elwood's father is on the isle, as is the Dragon's Gate. As they draw closer to the isle, Elwood no longer fears that his father might be one of the conspirators. As the moment of truth draws near, Elwood only prays that he is safe. Chapter 17 Pirate Ship. Oh god, I have to do voices. Oh, I already killed my voice today singing. <laughs> oh well. Ahoy, laddie, you... I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> Ahoy, laddie, don't you get sea... Don't get seasick, do ya? I can do Elowitz because I'm not growling. <laughs> okay. I'm fine, sir. This is a beautiful ship. <laughs> Where's Zero Ray? May I ask you a question? What is it? Why did you agree to give us passage? When we said that we wished to travel to Valor, the people in the harbor treated us as though we were mad. I'm sure they did. It's a good eye after all. If not for the good reason, we wouldn't want to go there neither. And yet, you've given us free passage. Why is that? Listen to me, laddie. I'm no strange beast. Can't resist a challenge. Something appears on the horizon, and we made it set sail. Some drain the conquer, and others be abandoned. I've grown old. I ain't got a good challenge in many a year. Then any moon clouds appear, sick and past the Dread Isle. I was impressed with your courage. I think you may be the ones to survive Dread Isle. We won't disappoint you. We will return. Alright. Go away, anchor for and wait for you. Light and sing a fire when you want to return, and we'll pick you up. Thank you. Captain, as Doria drift to port? Looks like there's someone aboard. What are your orders? Bring him aboard! Looks like we've got a visitor. Odd finding a boat drift drift near here. Odd? Why is that? The sea currents in this area? Anything different around here with a couple of red Isle. Oh. Should I greet our guest? Dang, I could not do a pirate accent right now. Elwood, you done talking to old man Fargus? And um, just to point it out, if you're playing Hector's story here, you don't get that scene. Instead, you get a scene of Hector and Lynn talking. This is better, because Lynn's not involved. Yes. You saw us. No, I heard you gone off with him. You learn anything? We can trust him. We got lucky finding him. Hmm. If you say so. Hey, you two! Come here! They pulled the Doria aboard! I wonder who's on board! It's... it's a girl? Mm-hmm. Oi! You there! Me? Give me a hand, will ya? I don't know where to grab her. Okay. Says the gentleman. Stow it! It's a familiar <laughs> girl. Ninian! Ninian, wake up! Unbelievable. What are the chances? Do you know her? She's how Lindus and I met a year back. I rescued Ninian from a band of villains. Hey, it's Ninian. Open your eyes. Uh, Ninian, can you hear me? Mm. I... Are you well? Why are you on that boat? Where is Neil? Why wasn't he with you? Uh, uh, uh. Ninian? Linda, something's wrong with her. With who? Captain! Pirate ship's approaching from the northwest. They dare attack Captain Fargus and the Dravos? Davros. Whatever. They must be mad. What flag are they flying? I've never seen that pattern before. The seas belong to us. Whoever they are, they're in our water. It's a day for a strange occurrence, it seems. 
You will watch your high on high. We got no time waste on you. I have no idea who's screaming. Water! The hole's been breached! We're taking on water! Breached? It's gone more dangerous than I thought. It's bad, Captain. We need all hands below decks, or we'll sink. Take care of it! I'm going to crave these catalogs some new gizzards! We need your help. The water's up to the galley. You must come below, Captain. Ah. Fargus, leave the enemy to us. Fighting is something we're good at. But a sinking ship? That's your affair. You have to do something or we'll all drown. We'll deal with things up here. Please, hurry! Fran, the deck's yours. I'll be back as soon as we plug the breach in the hole. Go! So no, we don't get a level 18 Berserker. <laughs> Blynn, take her to that room. I will! Here they come. All we want is the girl. Kill the rest. Hey, Merlin is actually leveled up this time. <laughs> yeah! He actually didn't die for once. Yeah, he didn't die in the last chapter. I don't think he'll die in this chapter either. So we'll deploy him. Ahoy, can you hold the deck until reinforcements arrive? Who? Me? I'm Jake. I am new to the Davros' crew. Oh, you heard about me from Anna. Oh, so she's worried about me. That warms my heart, my friend. Let me give you some information. We've got merchants aboard. Buy what you need from them. This is the armory. This is the shop. You won't be able to stock up once we reach the Dread Isle. Buy as much as you can carry while you've got the chance. And that's actually a point I was going to bring up. Buy stuff here, because you're not going to run into a shop for a while. And yes, you survive for 11 turns. I thought it was 7, but you survive for 11. I don't think killing all the end- oh. Actually, I'm pretty sure killing the boss also ends this chapter. I can't recall that exactly off the top of my head, but... Well, I'm not going to kill the boss anyway until I steal that speed wings from him, which is why we have Matthew along. Um, Matthew's got 17 speed. This guy has 10 speed, so everything will be fine. Let's start with Lucius. Lightning strike! For luck, ball. Lightning strike! shop here, yeah, let's buy some stuff. Get another heal, get another mend. Let's buy another flux. I should think everyone else will be fine, for a little while anyway. Now Raven, you gotta do stuff. Hector, you go to the weapon shop. He's only got steel stuff. Yeah, we'll buy a couple javelins. Buy a hand axe. And everything else should be fine. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully, yeah. Well, I should be able to survive the Dread Isle with the equipment I have. And I think you get some dropped items from some enemies, but we'll wait and see. Okay, put Raven here. My turn to use Flux. Oh, dang. Oh, 
that works. Jab in the face. It's good to have Florina here because you can't get anyone to walk on this water. I don't think anyone needs to be healed, so we'll just kind of put you in a safe central area, like right here works. Stab! Block! I remember not having Ooh. too much problems with this chapter. The only real threat is the boss. Because he is a dark spell that's pretty dang powerful, if I recall right. Blab. Blab. And, and dead. critical smash. Yeah, Raven's one of those guys I always use. I always try to use the mercenaries when they're in this game. They're one of my favorite classes. There's only one in this game, though. Or, there's two, but I won't be getting the second one, because you have to choose between him and a different character. And for story, char story purposes, I'm choosing the other character, even though the hero is very good. He is a very good character. Oh, Matthew got hit by that one. Yeah, that's okay, we can fix that. But uh, let's just go see the boss for a second here. He is the spell um, Luna, which as you see has no might, but it negates enemy resistance and has a high crit chance. So it's basically his magic is the might. So it'll do 12 damage, but it also has that high crit chance, so it can do possibly... It's 12 times 3. My brain's not working too much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Full times three, really. I, my brain's not working too well tonight. Magic healing girl, Priscilla healing Matthew. Yeah, she needs it. And now uh, Lucius can get rid of one of these flux guys because you know light beats dark. Break. Flux. Boom. Yeah, it doesn't even do anything. Break. Chapters on boats like this are pretty common in Fire Emblem games. Yeah, okay. I know in one game there's at least one... <laughs> in a Path of Radiance you have to go through a couple chapters on a boat. <laughs> yeah, Raven got hit. When did that happen? You guys just have iron, so cool. you got a long sword. Well, it's a good thing I... It's a good thing the only person on horseback is very far away from you. <laughs> Matthew, steal it? Um, no, but it's green, oh. so he'll drop it. Okay, that's right, that's what green means. It's hard to think to steal it. Um, just white items can be stolen. You can't steal weapons, but you can steal items, so this right, guy's right. got pure water, so I can steal it. Bow in the face. Luck. Oh. Miss. Okay. Arrow in the face. Like I can back. always count on Rebecca. Ah, uh, these guys only do two damage to Elowid? What the heck is his defense? Man, he kinda of had a nice little crit there. Elowid has nine defense. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, it's the fake. 
fuck? Ooh. Bam for the face. Yeah, she can take magic damage. So it's like about a third of her health. I don't need that. Math, you can take you out. Sword, sword. Or a knife, knife. <clears throat> yeah, it's supposed to be a knife, but... I've probably said this before, knives didn't become a weapon until uh, later games. And even then, it was only for a couple games that you could actually use knives as a weapon. It was always swords again after that. Okay, we're gonna have... you. Oh, you won't kill him? And going back onto daggers for a minute, they're not really good weapons either. They're basically short, they're weak and light, so you're never gonna be losing speed from them, but like I said, they're weak. <laughs> Wow, really? It is over 50% chance to hit. Wow. Blade in the face. Blade in the face. I hope this archer's not too strong. Okay, good. He'll be fine. He's fine. He'll live. Yeah. Meh. Leave my units who can't fight back alone. He missed, though, so... Myrmidon, that's usually a scary thing. Armor Slayer? Well, it's a good thing. Oh, that will probably do damage to Hector. So we'll keep Hector away from him. <laughs> yeah, this'll definitely hurt. If it even hit. <laughs> what you doing? Yeah, this is a good chapter for Lucius. Lots of dark mages. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that, Knass. <laughs> Sword. Okay, we really need to heal Raven. He is really close to dying, and I don't want him to die. <laughs> He's too awesome to die. No kidding. He's just a little lower leveled right now, that's all. I suppose so. Good, good. Oh boy. Uh, Lynn, you just hang out there. red gem. 
Yay, I can sell that. I'm completely related, Silo. Do you know what a Gitalele is? Do I know what a what is? A Gitalele. Gitalele. Sounds like a ukulele. <laughs> it's the baby of a ukulele and a guitar. It's like a six string ukulele. Well, why not just call it a six string ukulele? <laughs> it's a Gitalele from Schooler. My dog got one, today, like yesterday. Your dad did? Yeah. You know my dad's a big music guy, right? I remember you saying he plays the guitar. He turned my brother's room into a recording studio. Oh, wow. Himself. That makes me wonder, what would my parents do with my or my brother's room if we ever moved out? I could see probably one of them- a guest room? Yeah, one of them would probably become a guest room for sure. And you know, as soon as I move out, this room in the basement will definitely become an office. That's unfortunate for you. You are gonna need a two-row apartment by yourself just so you can have like, your own little music room and stuff. Yeah, my uh, music room right now is pretty big. <laughs> okay, I can't remember if the boss moves or not. So we're gonna be a little careful. 